In this video, we are going to show you the best attack strategy in Clash of Clans right now. You're not going to want to miss any of these attacks. This is definitely the most powerful and most dominating strategy in the game. We're going to show you a bunch of attacks to break it down, give you as many tips and tricks so that you can get the three stars. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's dive into this first attack and the strategy we are talking about is the peckers and bowlers combined with the bat spells. This is the pecker bow bat technique. Now if you are new to the channel guys, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. All of the attacks you will see are at Town Hall 10, but in a couple of days we're going to bring you an interview of a top Clash of Clans player breaking down this strategy at Town Hall 12. So be sure to click that notification bell so you do not miss out. Now with the Pega Ball Bat technique, a common method that you will use in order to set up this is the Queen Walk into Queen Charge. So you have the healers and the Queen is going to set up a bit of a funnel but then ultimately enter the base with your main pack. Now the reason this works well is the Queen is able to reach across to a couple of the buildings just on the inside of the base. Now that is because your bowlers, as you can see here, can often be drawn around the outside side to these buildings and the funnel can be incredibly difficult but what you want to try and do is set up the funnel initially on one side then as you power your wall wrecker or your stone slammer however you plan to enter the base you need to cut off the funnel past that as well so that your troops don't continue to walk around you're then getting your peckers and bowlers into the base ahead of your heroes and using the bat spells as you can see now in order to swoop around the bat back end of the base. Now Toxic Joey does a fantastic job in doing this on this attack and we're obviously going to break this one down further for you. There's a lot that we haven't been able to show you in this attack but you've got plenty of others coming up. The bats have to be protected so you're going to have to distract splash damage whether that be troops on the outside or whether that be freeze spells you're going to have to have a plan for it guys but if you are interested in joining toxic rabbits which all of these attacks are from join my discord server all of my social media platforms are linked down in the description and you can join my discord to see any of the clans i cover and how to join them so that you can battle alongside them. Right, let's move on to the next strategy here in terms of the Pekka Bobat to show you exactly how powerful this is. Prince Melvin coming up for the next attack. Now what you want guys is to try and pack out your army. So we have five healers. That's common for this type of attack. You're going to want to set up that queen charge initially and you're probably going to lose a healer as you come into the base. But don't forget you can take some balloons there as well in order to test for black bombs if this is the initial attack and you haven't had a scout. You're going to want some cleanup troops as well. A lot alongside ones to set up the funnel that will be for instance the baby dragon wizards are always fantastic to clean up but the bulk of your army is going to be the bowlers alongside the couple of peckers now you're going to want to try and maximize on bat spells you're probably going to need a rage spell at least one of them for that initial push into the base but you're going to want to try and find bases where you don't need a lot of spells initially because the bulk of your spells has to be the bats now you also need a couple of free spells for any splash damage if there is splash on the perimeter often you can distract it so we have the baby dragon setting up the funnel again notice the buildings that you can use to set up a funnel the army camps are fantastic because they are so big and very low in health that you can take them down and it sets up such a wide funnel so this top area of the base is down we know that is set and you can see that the king has done a fantastic job here as well meaning that we have this little breadcrumb of buildings here look which are going to draw our troops into the base seems pretty simple but it's a common 
one mistake that newer players to the game will make, you've got to get your troops coming into the base. Work on the outside first in order to bring your troops around and in. So there you have it. On this one, you can see that the expo, obviously within this compartment, there's nothing here to draw the bowlers into this area. So we don't have to worry about the queen walk per se on this one. We just set up the funnel and in she comes. The bowlers are there alongside the pecker. Obviously, the primary siege machine that you will use for this strategy is the wall wrecker. Again, that is because you don't want to use many spells. You need to try and maximize on bats, so you don't want to have to use a jump spell if you can help it. The wrecker can get a lot further than the slammer, and you need a decent push into the base. That is because your bats can't take out the whole base itself. So when they first do get deployed here, I'm going to pause the attack so you can see exactly how much of the base is gone down. So in they come onto the wizard tower here, and you can see that this entire area of the base is down. The bats are purely responsible for these defenses. There's a very thin strip here that when they take down this little area, we know exactly where they are going to go. They are not going to get caught up. Now you could use the bat wave technique, bringing them in from this angle, went for the bat bomb technique, which is putting them directly on top of a defense, that will be a splash damage, because you need to get that down, and once that is finished, you can see the multi inferno is the only splash left, and we didn't really even need this freeze spell coming down to it, because the beams were already occupied by these troops, and actually it got taken down anyways. So we swag the freeze, we swag the queen's ability, that's how strong this strategy is but again look at the wizards they will be great troops to help clean up behind the bats so that you do not time fail but we also had a couple of balloons there as well now for those of you guys that are still watching let me know down in the comments first because i like to see you guys that watch my videos right the way through but one thing i forgot to mention at the start is that we have an attack right at the end which is slightly different but is adapted to the base and it really does work well so make sure to stick around for that in terms of it's dave getting this one done again we've got them five healers that's going to be crucial for helping to boost your bowlers in the middle but using the queen walk into the queen charge you want to try and maximize on bowlers, essentially, but you're going to need them couple of peckers, and we have a good amount of variation in terms of troops for cleanup and funneling troops for this one. Five to six bat spells is what you're going to need, or essentially just as many as you can take, but notice how the clan castle spell is the bat spell. Essentially, the maxed level bat spell. This is if you're doing this strategy at Town Hall 10. It works right the way through, guys, but at Town Hall 10, you want to try and take that bat spell. The max level is so much more effective. Now, you did get to see this attack very briefly when we introduced the video, and you did get to see that the funnel was set up at the bottom here. So a couple of goblins snipe off this building. Baby Dragon does a fantastic job taking these down, and essentially, when the queen comes in, she's going to be able to take out the bomb tower, but we've got these buildings here to draw her in. She's not really going to be attracted up to the archer tower because there's so many other buildings here in order to draw her in, including these defenses as well. So do just think about where you can essentially use the buildings to draw your troops in that direction. A little bit of a tricky funnel here could have easily lost some troops, but we've compensated more than enough to ensure we've created that large funnel. Essentially, guys, if your funnel goes wrong, the attack might go south, or it probably will, so you probably want to overcompensate, if anything, on that initial push. But the king does a good job on this side, setting that up. We've already set the funnel here, so again, the queen walk helps a little bit, and then we're into the base. Again, look at the bowlers. If I pause for a second, the bowlers can very easily walk. Yes, they can reach this cannon, but they're probably then not going to be drawn around here. They're probably going to be drawn into the base unless this gets taken down very quickly. So another point I will make is be careful when you're using your rage spells that you don't use them too early and you actually draw your ballers around. But there we go. They're now coming into the base. Once they take that archer tower down, they're going to turn and come 
back into the base apart from a couple of them that do indeed walk around that just shows how hard it is to funnel the bowlers so really do think about it you've got to look on the inside of the base as well but again you're looking to gut the core of the base and if we pause for a second again look at this thin strip of defenses around the outside of the base that is what you're looking for in terms of the bats going through the middle of the base is down but it's not over either the queen can still reach some of these buildings in order to help out now again we don't have any splash damage on this one and that is planned so Dave has planned this we've only got one freeze spell and again a freeze is very transferable in terms of a spell you can use it to help the bats you could use it to help the queen the wrecker the healers anything so any spells like that are good because they're transferable through the base again look at the wizards over here very good cleanup troops to help with the bats will be clearing out the inside of the base but they go for the defenses first and they can be a little bit slow if you lose a lot of them as well look at how long it takes them to get through the town hall here so do spread your cleanup troops around but what we will focus on for the next couple of attacks is how to actually protect your bats because that's the main thing we've talked about the funnel we've talked about getting your troops in again you don't want to look for bases that you need a lot of spells but let's move on and talk a little bit more about the bats themselves this is the second to last attack so again the last one is slightly different but let's focus on the bats themselves for this one now if we look at this base we actually only have four bat spells now what that is telling you is that there's less of a pivotal role on the bats themselves there's going to be less defenses for them to take out because we've got less spells we take four peckers for this one and you're going to see why in a second in fact let's just tell you now look at the base and think about what the bats are weak to in terms of the splash they are all if we divide the base in this top section so clearly you're going to want to get your kill squad into that area now the bowlers can be susceptible to that as well so that's where more peckers are useful in order to tank for that now we're going to use one of them to set up the funnel taking out that tesla initially but then just taking out a couple of buildings on the outside here in order to force the queen up over and that's exactly where we want so do be careful as well because again the queen being a ranged troop can reach these buildings on the inside so do think about that because she might end up walking to these troops on the inside you've got to plan that funnel and if you do become good at setting that funnel you will become so much better of an attacker but that's not what this video is about necessarily again look at the inside of the base here it is cut out so the bowlers are coming in they are not walking back around the other side of the base or they shouldn't king and pekka doing a good job on this side look at some of these high hp storages we've got the king here as well that's going to take a long time to set up that funnel so the pecker is going to be there to help and the bowlers come straight into the base with the stone slammer queen there as well and the splash damages are getting taken out again we're going to try and gut a huge amount of the base here so that the bats just swoop around the back end now we've talked about the initial uh, troops and that kill squad enough the rage spells you don't need the jumps you don't want to commit too much of them now what we could do if i pause for a second is we could use the freeze spells and use the bats right onto these uh, splash damages that's because you'd want them down first but what we decide to do here and there's many ways to take down a base not saying that this wouldn't have worked it probably would have to be honest guys but we bring the bats down this way to try and help protect our kill squad as well as they come through and essentially as long as you've got the freezers you can take down them splash damages towards the end the reason that the bat wave in terms of sending this big group of bats from the side of the base works it allows them to gain momentum they gain a lot more bats to then take down the splash damages if you put them on top in terms of the bat bomb method they can actually take a little bit of a time to spawn and you might end up using more freeze spells but essentially look all of the bats are used they come over to this area and we freeze early you do not want to save time and try and like hold on to your spells get them in early you'll be surprised how quickly the bats go down look at that did you see that the wizard tower took down the bats straight away and the freeze spells end up actually not 
working. If the freezers had have been in earlier, overcompensated, bats would have been okay. Essentially, that's what I'm telling you. This strategy is amazing. And it's even got the job done without the bats. But get the freezers in early, especially if you're starting the bat wave onto the splash damages. Don't try and take any chances. They will go down quick. But again, you haven't seen an example here. But especially at Town Hall 11 and 12, an Ice Golem coming to the side of the base can be incredibly powerful to tank a Wizard Tower. Let's say this was a Wizard Tower, bring an Ice Golem onto here and it can tank for a long time. You can use Giants, but essentially they go down and the Ice Golem will then have the Freeze ability as well. So one more attack to show you guys. Let's move on to that now. The final thing I want to say against the Pekka Bobat strategy before we get into this final attack by Punisher, which I haven't mentioned, is that the Pekka Bobat, whilst it is probably the best attack strategy in my opinion right now in the game, it's incredibly powerful for the Clan War Leagues because it is a very safe two-star strategy in terms of pushing that kill squad in. You can secure the Town Hall with that kill squad, then the bats will either get the three star or any percentage from there is a bonus right let's get on to the final attack six peckers in this one but essentially it uses a very similar thing in terms of the funnel getting the bowlers into the center of the base it's more just that we use the jump spell towards the back end and we don't use the bats but again Funnel gets created here and here, and I've shown you this. In fact, I'm going to link, after this attack, I'm going to link a video for the mass P.E.K.K.A. strategy. Nine P.E.K.K.A.s used, and it's always on these diamond style bases at Town Hall 10. You can set up that funnel on either side and press your War Wrecker and P.E.K.K.A.s into the base. But look at the freeze spells and what we use them on for this, because I haven't really touched upon that on the P.E.K.K.A. Bullbat, but hopefully from everything I I've talked about we've shown you and explained it we just haven't really shown you the gameplay as in-depth as I'd like to so everything's into the middle the funnel worked beautifully heroes bowlers peckers in there now come the freeze spells look freezing anything this is where I'm seeing transferable spells they're freezing the expos in order to help with the queen getting through there freezing the multi to try and help the bowlers heal spell on the back end that's something i haven't shown you but with the pekka ball bat there's no reason that that couldn't be an option let's say you've pushed your bowlers in there's a lot of wizard towers multi infernos maybe you know there's a giant bomb there you can use a heal spell again mix and match the spells to your benefit if you don't need as many bat spells on the back end yes i'm telling you you want to try and maximize on them but if you don't need them if you need a bigger kill squad to get down some more splash damage or something then take the spells that you need take the broad idea that i'm giving you here in the video and change it depending on the base that is purely how you will become a really better attacker and take yourself to the next level if you have enjoyed this video guys please leave a like leave a like on any of my videos that you watch that you enjoy because it helps out the channel so much it really does help to push the videos to other um uh, viewers as well couldn't think of the word there guys but if you want to see that video with nine peckers i've linked it there and i also have town hall 10 playlists on my youtube homepage. but that is going to wrap it up for this one until next time guys peace out